In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord. One day, as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law who had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem were sitting there, and the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher, a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence, but not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, as for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to ask themselves, who is this who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew the thoughts and, his, and said to them in reply, what are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier, to say your sins are forgiven or to say rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on and went home, glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all and they glorified God and struck with all. They said, we have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, 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 Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Please go ahead with the three pointers, Titalines. The three pointers for today's Gospel. Number one, for the scribes and Pharisees, all illnesses are caused by sinfulness. Thus, Jesus first forgave the person's sin to prove that he has the power to do so. Then he healed the paralytic. With such healing, the scribes and Pharisees were dumbfounded and could no longer denounce Jesus. Number two, however, in this miracle, it was the faith of the friends of the paralytic that moved Jesus to heal him. Number three, how often have we received healing and our needs answered because we had deep faith in the Lord's providence. This is the surest way to live well if we focus on loving the Lord and deepening our faith in Him. Ponder on this truth today. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Sitalin. So it's about faith again. It's about faith. Your faith has healed you about faith, about, about healing, no? and about the jealousy of the Pharisees. <laughs> Tapos, how far can we go, no? Granting, no, nandoon tayo, no? During the biblical time, or maybe during this uh, modern time, how far can we go to help a friend? Yun ang question. Can we do that na, na yung uh, the, the three the three friends no of the paralytic maybe maybe there were they were four uh, there were four of them siguro they they went far and beyond ba far and beyond na imagine just to help just to help the friend the paralytic friend to be healed to see Jesus and get healed no they went up to the roof no sa rooftop and then they 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 remove some parts of the of the tiles no and then doon um 
gin gin ano gin lower nila ang stretcher ng kon stretcher ng ng friend nila in order for for the for the friend to get healed nakita ni Jesus nakakatouch niya the, the scenario is uh, so touching that that these uh, friends went far and beyond and the, and then ang the, the faith is so tremendous yun ang nakakatouch and then on the other hand naman ang Pharisees uh, the the Pharisees are so proud and jealous na they cannot accept they just cannot accept ang mga nakita nila That's, sa mga ginagawa ni Jesus so that's jealousy that's jealousy and pride so we have two lessons no, no we have three lessons here jealousy and pride of the of the Pharisees um ang 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 compassion ng ng friends of, of friends. the paralytic the faith of of the paralytic and the healing yun so easy to achieve no kung may faith ka and and if you are compassionate no just like this uh three friends of the paralytic no they are so compassionate they are full of 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 ano talaga of uh, faith true friends talaga oh bff so, ano, kumbaga talaga, bff talaga, yes, talaga. So, BFF talaga. Oh. imagine no, if you okay. if you are that if you are that if you were the paralytic no you have a friend no you are helpless because you cannot move you are paralyzed and then here comes your here come the uh, uh, three three or four friends no na they took care of you and then they really tried their best para lang makita si Jesus because they believe that kung makita lang ni kung maano lang ni Jesus the, the, the friend can, can be healed Imagine the, the compassion of the friends. Imagine, can we do that? Siguro, uh, I don't know. Far and beyond. Eh. Maybe we can do yeah. that through friends talaga. Like oh, through friends, yeah. Tayo, tayo. Siyempre, magtulungan tayo. Kung you are already in the verge of peligro ba, siyempre, oh. hindi mo naman pwede mapabayaan eh. Hindi mo mapabayaan. Talaga. Oh. Oo, tulungan talaga. Kasi magtutulungan talaga. Oh. Amen. Amen. Bayanihan yan sa atin, no? Yeah, bayanihan. Oo, oh, para kay oh, oh, Tita Becky. Oh. Yeah. So. Eh, na- na-accomplish yung love thy neighbor as you love yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, love God above all, di ba? Kasi yung mm. faith. Ang faith nila eh. Oh. My faith body nila. and soul talaga. The faith should be with the mind, the body, the soul. Everything. Mm. Kasi oh. kung kulang ang faith, no? Hindi. Wala. Oh. Kung kulang ang faith. Nila pag, ano, they are in danger. Isipin mo just nga sa itaas eh, butasan nila ang itaas. Grabe. Imagine yun. they went to the, ro- the rooftop, no? Karga-karga oh. nila yung paralitik oh. ng friend nila. Oh. Nasa, G- ano, pa, sin- sinira pa nila kasi kinuha ang yung ibang part ng tiles, ng roof. And then doon yeah, nila gin, kuan, ang, ang, ano, ang, ang friend nila. Imagine. Oh, Nagpaalam kaya sila sa may-ari. Ang <laughs> <laughs> sa mind nila, ito ang friend nila eh. Ang sa ayun, sa kanila, ma- oh, maano oh, nila. Para lang ma-heal ang save, friend nila. Save mm-hmm. nila para ma-cure. They mm-hmm. save one life talaga. Oo, oh, and then and then your, your 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 faith has saved you, no? And then has, yeah. has healed you. And then their, their sins are forgiven because they, Jesus saw the, the hearts, right. na pure ang hearts nila ba? And then very, very compassionate talaga. Love thy neighbor. Nakakatouch talaga. Yeah. Maski na modern life natin, no, we are not we are not like Jesus, no? Pero makita mo no, ma-touch ka talaga na oh, naku, yeah. oh, mga ganyan ba? They, they they really went far and beyond na. Imagine magsaka ka doon sa rooftop tapos para dala karga-karga mo pa ang paralytic. It's mm. not easy. Mabigat. <laughs> Yung oh. pag-alsa ng paano, hindi, oh. mabigat na nga eh. Mabigat. Yung pagsira lang ng roof, 
na oh, oh, oh. Oh, may ari yun. And then of course they try their best na hindi ma oh. ma hurt ang friend nila na baka mahulog, oh. baka oh. ano diyan. And yet no. Baka, oh, so so beautiful scenario. Oo. So, oh, oh. <laughs> Wala ka man luyan doon noon. I don't know kung anong stretcher siguro. Uh, I don't know. Oo, uh, uh, oh, oh, walang stretcher eh. I don't know kung anong ginamit nila. Baka, Baka blanket kumot. lang. Yeah, blanket lang siguro. Blanket. Oo. Oh, oh. so, so, very, very touching talaga ang friends. no? Yeah. Very touching. Oh. So. Forever talaga. BFF. BFF talaga. Mm. May dagdag ka tito mans. Uh, tita Belle crossing. <laughs> <laughs> Wala pang harok ka si Dral. Wala. O si magharok ka si Dral tayo muna and then si Tito Mani. <laughs> Sige. Please, please go ahead. Please go ahead Tita Bex sa harok ka si Dral maganda ang harok ka si Dral. Nagmamadali okay. si Tito Mani. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from Haro Cathedral. Contentment is not all about having what you want, but grateful enough for the needs others can have. Learn yeah. to appreciate the blessings of others. Otherwise, you'll be a prisoner of your own envy. Good life is not all about counting your blessings, but rejoicing as well for those received by you others. Never be deluded by the anguish of being envious to others' welfare, lest it shows how discontented you are of what belongs to you. What consumes your mind will control your life. Happiness is determined by how freely you recognize God's graces and provisions. What benefits others may not be suitable for you and vice versa. God knows what is best for each of us, and there's no point of claiming what does not pertain to you, much as you are grateful of what you bless you, be more thankful that others share the same rewards as you. This is where contentment is founded. This is where true happiness lies. When you are never affected by jealousy and pride, it's when you share your care that love can matter. And thank you for your care, O oh Lord. Amen. 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 Oh, beautiful thing. Mm. Wow. It's true. Don't be affected by jealousy, though. Oh, that's that song. Kasi jealous and the very very proud and the jealous and the Pharisees. Tige lang. You huh? enjoy it down. Hi, Tita Ben. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Good morning. Good evening. Good evening. Morning. Evening morning. Evening morning. <laughs> evening morning. <laughs> so, Tito Mans, you have something? For my... Uh... <laughs> Thing, who will pay for the repair of that roof? Sino magbabayad nun? Nasira? Nasira eh. Nasira? Sinira nila ang roof. Pareho tayo nang pareho tayo nang iniisip kanina dito man eh. Paano yan? Nagpaalam ba sila? <laughs> Now you will say sino magpapay nun? Sino magpapay nun? Yung bahay na yun, no? Pero mo, inimbita si Jesus sa bahay na yun. Sinira. Sinira. <laughs> Rup niya. Mm-hmm. Eh, yung apat, yung apat mag-contribute kasi yung panglima eh, pinauwi na ni Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> It was... Uh, It Siguro But, hindi naman panuhin ng ano nang may-ari kasi alam niya yeah. naman nga may nangyari na siyempre, ginal, ano nila, may nangyari dahil importante ang ano ang nangyari siguro hindi na pag anuhan ng may-ari sige na kasi gumaling na yun ang ano eh ang tao sige na lang okay lang because may faith sila sabi ng may-ari may faith sila kay Jesus na siguro si Jesus na rin ang mag-ayos dito mani 
Ah, okay. Sige. <laughs> For the poor people, the, how many people how many people who helped him? Four? Parang four yata. Four. Pero hindi natin alam. Mar siguro four para balance, no? Yeah. Dalawa sa, sa head, dalawa, yeah. oo, no? Most likely, baka four. Four oh. people showed uh, faith. Compassion. Faith. And uh, Jesus countered it with mercy and compassion. That's why he healed person. He saw the faith of the those people who helped the paralyzed man. See, and in, in the gospel we can see that uh, there was some kind of uh, let's say collaboration of the people. They collaborated you know, to help the paralyzed person. And uh, with that, Jesus forgave their sins much. Oh. That Jesus forgave their sins and healed the par paralytic. And then it says also that we must also forgive, you know, helping each other because we don't save us. Alone. You have there must be cooperation. God offers us the gift of salvation, but we must operate. We need to change. There must be a change that is advent season that is <clears throat> us to uh, repent. Change our And for us to be saved, we have to collaborate. As I have said before, Jesus, uh, God created us without our consent, without, without our rights. And he cannot save us without our consent. Nilikha niya tayo. Hindi naman niya pinaalam na lilikha ka eh. But, hindi ka safe if you don't want to be safe. That's why collaboration is needed for the for us. We have to cooperate with Christ. And the Pharisees say that showed no concern for the See. On the other hand, Jesus saw the faith of these people. And that this Advent, Advent season, while we are making our preparation, material preparation, we must also take care of our spiritual preparation. It's more important. The gospel says that God can forgive sins. He has the authority. He was given that authority. And, and in the sacrament of uh, reconciliation, still God is the one who forgives. The priest is all, only in persona Christi. Mm -hmm. Acting in person Christ. It is really God who forgives sin.
and all those pains, no? And uh, trials that we experience. It's also a source of uh, If we uh, connect with the pains and sufferings of Jesus, it becomes salvific. That's why is in lang natin. Everyone right now are suffering because of this pandemic. We offer sacrifices, those pains. And uh, if we, uh, <clears throat> it becomes redemptive, uh, redemptive. When those pains are over. Con in connection with the sufferings of Jesus. Pero sino bang gustong maghirap? Who wants to suffer? Who wants to experience pain? Mahirap. No? But, uh, it just have to go all those pains. And when offered the sufferings of Jesus, it becomes redemptive. The, for the conversion of sinners. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Satita Mani. Yeah. Offer the pains, no? Of offer all your pains to the Lord. And of for for the conversion of uh, sinners. Beautiful. Um, Tita Bell, may ano just may uh, may marino das marinas ako nagin ano beautiful din reflection. It starts with uh, how how far are you willing to go to help a person in need? Kayo ang magreed ni Marino ako kay tapos na ang kwan Haro Cathedral. Ah, sa Haro. Ikaw na lang ang sakay ni Marino. May reflection. How far are you willing to? Uh -oh. How far are you willing to go to help a person in need? We have in our gospel a paralytic who was brought to Jesus by selfless men. Men who did not think of their own safety so that they could help. Men who did everything so that they could bring somebody to Jesus. What if there were no selfless men who dared to help the paralytic? The paralytic would have remained paralytic for the rest of his life. 
But he was very blessed that he encountered these men who helped him go near Jesus. When we help someone in need, we are opening ourselves to enormous blessings from God. This is what happened to the men who brought the paralytic to Jesus. They were blessed by Jesus and was forgiven of their many sins. As we continue our journey in this world, we will continue to encounter those who are in need. Let us never let go of these opportunities to help, be it material or spiritual help. If it would require to momentarily forget our own selves so that we could extend a helping hand, let us help by all means. Every effort that you do for others is always rewarded by Jesus. From Marino das Marinos. Very true. Oh, amen. 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 So very true. We discussed that earlier before, no, na talagang, talagang ang four, four friends of this paralytic, no, they, they went far and beyond. Yeah. Just to help, just to help this paralytic friend, no, and then imagine, no, um, um, imagine, oh, sa atin lang, no, sa atin lang, that, that, that man is paralytic, tapos buhat-buhatin mo papunta ng rooftop. And tapos to open, sin- to open the roof ang tiles mm-hmm. ginano nila o tapos they were so careful siguro na hindi mahulog ang friend nila oh, oh. Oh. you can just imagine the the difficulty in yeah. bringing the paralytic to Jesus oh. and they did it for him for him oh. so nakita ni Jesus ang ang pagka-compassionate so ng four that's friends. That's mercy and compassion. Yes, that's mercy. That's why mercy their their sins uh, their sins were forgiven. Itong mga friends na ito, their sins were forgiven. Good deeds, no? Whatever the the sin they have committed siguro, no? Gin forgive ni Jesus ano uh, on the spot gin forgive ni Jesus because of that one one and single act of ano act of being compassionate nag-help sila sa friend. See, this is a good lesson and eye opener sa atin, no? Eye opener sa atin na na single, isa lang, isa lang na very pure ang intention mo. Makikita ni Jesus, makikita ni Jesus kung ano ang ginagawa mo. Kaya on the spot, your sins are forgiven, sabi niya sa apat na magkaibigan. So, sins that they have committed in the past on the spot gin gin ano gin forgive sila ni Jesus because of that one gesture gin help nila ang ilang friend para lang makita si Jesus para mahil ang ang kaibigan nila it's an eye opener sa atin no i i opener wala we don't do anything we, we don't do we don't do something that God is not aware of yun lang little things mas na how small it is how how little it is na sa atin is a parang baliwala pero in the eyes of god that's something in the eyes of god it is already something amen, so, amen. beautiful no very beautiful ang gospel yeah. ngayon very beautiful, very beautiful. Any other rejoinder? Okay, na tayo. So, closing prayer na. <laughs> so, mag, mag closing prayer na tayo, Tito Mads. <laughs> Kanina. Malilit na si Tito Mads. Gusto ko lang sa Bells. Oh Lord God, you are mighty. We thank you for this gathering. Bless all of us and praises to you, Lord, and shower us with blessings and keep us guidance. Holy, holy Lord God Almighty. Amen. Amen. Amen.
And glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you. Good night, Philippines. Bye.